Jesus said, What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said to the same. And he answered, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? And they said, The first. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. Well, Frank, this is an interesting um, story. I don't know if you've ever had um, that situation in your family. Does it sound like any of your sort of sibling, absolutely, you know, sibling absolutely. rivalries? There's always one, isn't there? Indeed. Yeah. Or two, if you like. Mm. Yes. But I also find it a very uncomfortable passage when I, again, as we try to do, put it into a context, mm. because Jesus is talking to the chief priests and elders, mm. and here are you and I sitting with, with yeah. our dog collars on as, mm. I guess, the equivalent of chief priests and elders. Yeah. Yeah. And the comparisons with tax collectors and the prostitutes, those yeah. who are in and those who are out, yeah. and those who think that they're doing God's will. Yeah, and actually others are sort of and going in ahead of them. And it's almost, almost as if Jesus is sort of setting up to try and um, sort of in a perverse sort of way to sort of push them, you know, push them to... To, um, yeah. to almost to be envious of those who've got who the mind, but, the can, but I guess that it can misfire and people can be deeply threatened, mm. really. And, mm. yeah. As I um, sort of as we've been reading, and, and I wonder if sometimes we make decisions too quickly, and we we snap out something, mm. and and actually then later on think, hang on a bit. Mm. And yet often we don't, perhaps don't have the courage, or we don't want to lose face because yeah. we to back down from a decision that's made. Yes. I mean, yes. This, the son who says, I will not, and then changes his mind and says, yes, I will. Mm. Um, but it's much harder going the other way when you've sort of said, you, you know, that, yeah. Well, that, I wonder yeah. if it is. We often say, I will, mm. and, and simply don't. Mm. I mean, like think, you promise to pray for some, someone or something, yeah, and it completely goes out of your mind. Or, or I'll, I'll yeah. definitely be at the meeting, or yeah. I'll do this or do that. Mm. So it's about trusting your, your, your word being trusted. Yeah, but also, yeah, being willing to, to just be found as human sometimes and say, look, I'm sorry, I forgot, or yep. actually... You know that this just didn't work out, but yes. but can we make a new and perhaps to clean a relationship where there's been some sort of breakdown or falling out or something? So often we just sort of then you know avoid each other or whatever or don't actually deal with it. And it does take being willing to lose face, doesn't yeah, it? And, it does. And, and being getting over your pride and getting yeah. over your pride mm. and being big enough to say actually I messed up. Yeah, or that I'm someone sorry. else has got a uh, yeah that someone else often perhaps. Um, uh, a, a younger person, perhaps, I, I was thinking about that when we were thinking about the Passover meal, how it's the youngest who gets mm. to, to tell the story and giving the opportunity to the youngest. You know, often we sort of can stand on ceremony or stand mm. in our position, mm. but mm. sometimes it is the unexpected person mm. who can really mm. uh, be, be the trailblazer, and we have to be humble enough to have accept to that. actually listen to them. Yeah, yeah. But it's still, yeah, it takes guts, it takes a bit of a challenge, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. So in practical terms for us today, um, think carefully about decisions we're mm. making. Not be frightened to change your mind, to, um, say, to, to take time to think about it and yeah, to, to say, I'm sorry. Yep, and to be willing to make a, make a new beginning. Because I think Jesus does, yes. he's still holding out to them the chance that they can join on the life. And the, you yes. know, the, the choice is still there yeah. for them. Yeah. But there's also quite a hardness, isn't there? Those last few verses, even after you saw mm. John the Baptist, all, all that John did, yeah. even with all the evidence, you were so convinced that you were right, mm. so you weren't prepared to change your mind. Yeah, yeah. That's actually nothing, there's not much Christian about that. Yeah, yeah. Christianity is actually about conversion, about being open to God's Spirit. And, and the willingness and, to... And seeing yeah, things differently. Keeping, keeping, I think God keeping on inviting, keeping, yeah, yeah. keeping pleading with us. Mm. Yeah. Food for thought, yep. as always. As always. Good.